Joaquin and Tiger now three under, one under respectively. I, I say this is notable for a couple of reasons. One, just in front of them, Bryson DeChambeau, Cam Smith, also a pairing because Paul Casey yesterday pulled out with an injury. So as it relates to Tiger Woods with Louis Eustazen out now, they're essentially now in a weekend pairing. How might this factor in to Tiger's round this afternoon? I think the only thing that could really make any difference is the fact that they'll have no trouble keeping up with the groups in front of them. So if he wants to slow down the walk and maybe not race up some of the hills, uh, give yourself a little bit more chance to recover at once you got to the top of the hill or you get in the middle of a shot, and the wind swirling around, maybe you can take a little bit more time and, and because you're, you're not going to fall behind in a twosome. So it might be an advantage. So I, and I look at, you know, Louie was four over coming in today. Tiger one under, Joaquin at three under. I, I mean this as, as, as kindly as I can. You get the, the high player out of the way with two of the other players that are playing pretty well. Maybe an increase in, in some rhythm a little bit. No, I don't, I don't think it, you know, if... If Louis goes out and plays today and shoots 67 or 68, he's right back in the tournament. Sure. You know, so uh, I think it's just the, the fact that you've just gone from a three to two, and the pace will be a little bit different. Three and two, three to two. Bryson and Cam, three to two. So you've got two groups ahead. You were you were talking about sometimes that you, you think that might work to your favor going into a pairing, but then there there could be because everybody else is in a grouping of three. Yeah. You might have to wait a little bit more, too. Well, but I think that's where a veteran player understands that the speed of the play out there. You slow down your walking a little bit. Maybe you take a little bit more time getting a drink at the tee before you leave the mm -hmm. tee. I mean, it's just all how you plan out how you're going to function the rest of the day. I thought one notable thing you said yesterday with regards to Tiger as we wait for his arrival, 1232 here at Augusta National Golf Club. He goes off at 141, so we're an hour and nine minutes away. Yesterday, he showed up at about an hour before his tee time. But you had said that with Tiger, it's imperative when he got into that stretch where he was kind of errant to not increase the speed of your yeah. walk just because you're playing bad. And well, I think a tendency for a player out here, you hit a couple of bad shots and you start getting faster. You, you walk faster because you're upset a little bit. That helps you walk a little bit faster. Or maybe you're going up a hill at nine and you're really trying to grind it up the hill. I, I thought it was always important for me particularly. I, I knew when I was getting out of control, walking too fast, that I would really work hard to slow down. Just slow. If I could slow my walk down, I'd usually slow the tempo of my golf swing down. So that was really important. And so that becomes notable again as well as far as tempo and pace because Louis Eustazen in Tiger's group and has withdrawn from the tournament because of an injury, making it back-to-back -back twosomes now and uh, pairings on the course here for Tiger Woods. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.